So the last video is going to deal with the deals on the cyclo edition. And this is an example of a cyclo edition. It's called a cyclo edition because when you add a conjugated diene to any dienophile, you get a cyclic product. So this is a, just an example of 1,3-butadiene plus a methyl vinyl ketone, which is this uh, compound here. This is my diene. This is my dienophile or lover of dienes. And then when I add these two together, I get this cyclohexene derivative. All right, and I'm doing this uh, under thermal conditions uh, in benzene. All right, so let's let's keep going. Let's look at the mechanism. So the mechanism is what we call pericyclic, it means that there's a cyclic redistribution of electrons. So the electrons move basically in a circuit. That's how I like to talk, um, how I like to refer to it. The reaction occurs in one step. And it has a cyclic transition state. All right, so I, uh, if you look at the arrows here, you can see that these two carbons are going to make a bond between themselves. This pi bond is going to shift, and then this carbon and this carbon will make a bond. So let's look at it a little bit differently. So here, this is a this is going to be a new carbon-carbon bond. This will be a new carbon-carbon bond, and then this will be a new carbon-carbon pi bond. These two will be sigma bonds. All right. So in the product, you can see that the red line here, here, and here correspond to the new bonds. Notice, no longer do I have a pi bond here, right? And I no longer have these two pi bonds. This pi bond has shifted. These electrons have gone here to create this sigma bond. And then these electrons have gone here to create this sigma bond, all right? So let's think about it in terms of orbitals. Right, because the deals all the cyclo addition is the homo of the diene. In this case, this is my the homo of one three butadiene, and the homo here reacts with the lumo of the dienophile. Right? In this case, methyl vinyl ketone, this is what the lumo looks like. Uh, and so it's the homo of the diene, the lumo of the dienophile. So let's look at it in terms of the homo of the diene here. Right? Notice this is still the homo, it's just the double bonds are uh, oriented in what we call a S cis fashion so that they're better able to overlap with the lumo of the dienophile. So here's the homo of the diene, here's the lumo of the dienophile coming in now, and then the terminal lobes here have to be able to overlap and they have to have the same sign. Notice this orbital and this orbital they're both shaded they have the same sign and then this orbital and this orbital are both unshaded so they have the same sign so the terminal lobes meaning the outermost lobes of my diene have to overlap with the p orbitals on the dienophile right the reaction is based on proper orbital overlap right so these p orbitals have to be able to overlap with one another in order for those two new sigma bonds to form and in order for that pi bond to get shifted. All right, so with the cyclo addition, if I add any electron withdrawing group here, it activates my dienophile. All right, so the dienophile, if I put uh, uh, a highly electronegative chlorine or if I put an ester here, which can um, pull electrons away from the pi bond through resonance, or if I have like an anhydride or even a, a really highly electronegative nitrile, right? Any electron withdrawing group I attach to that uh, dienophile is going to increase the rate because what happens is the, the, the energy of the LUMO actually decreases if I put an electron withdrawing group, uh, I'll have an electron withdrawing group like this ketone attached to the pi bond. So it makes the overlap even better because when the energy of the LUMO is decreased, then it's, it's more accessible. All right. Also for the diene, the two double bonds have to be in what we call an S cis fashion, meaning that they both have to be on the same side. Because this carbon-carbon single bond, I can rotate around that bond, so this is what we would call S trans, where the two double bonds on opposite sides of one another. This is what we would call S-cis, um, and that 
that just means the two double bonds are on the same side. All right. So these dienes down here will never react in a Diels Alder reaction because this, because of the cyclic system, is locked and it's trans. And then this uh, diene here, the two methyl groups, uh, will have a steric interaction and that will force this diene to go as cis. As always, if you have any questions, you can tweet, you can email, or you can drop by my office. Peace.